I have wanted to understand obesity since I was young and saw my family members struggling with their weight. I used exercise to maintain my own weight, and this interest ultimately led me to study exercise physiology in school. For several years after completing my master's degree, I designed exercise programs and counseled individuals at fitness centers. I observed that most people wanted to lose weight and that this was a lifelong struggle for many of them. During my doctoral program, I began to appreciate that obesity is a very complex disease. As people become obese, fat can accumulate within muscle cells, around the organs, and even within organs such as the liver and the heart. This fat accumulation is closely linked with cardiometabolic disease like diabetes and heart disease. And many of the cellular processes driving these relationships are still poorly understood. Wanting to know more, I spent a semester visiting another university to study intramuscular fat accumulation in diabetes. This experience shaped much of my research program today. My postdoctoral fellowship focused on clinical trials for treating obesity. My research showed that it is extremely challenging to treat obesity in adults as they appear to be resistant to making necessary lifestyle changes. When adults with obesity become pregnant, they are much more likely to have children who also struggle with obesity. This is partly due to genetic predisposition and partly due to the lifestyle of the family. What's even more concerning is that obese children are five times more likely to become obese obese adults. This leads to a vicious cycle that researchers call transgenerational obesity. The purpose for my work as a scientist is to eradicate transgenerational obesity by resolving gaps in knowledge that will lead to the development of effective lifestyle interventions. I recall the aha moment I had when I realized that the most influential time to intervene is likely before the child is even born. Pregnancy is a unique time in a woman's life when she is more motivated to make lifestyle changes to improve the health of her baby. Obesity in pregnancy is one of the strongest risk factors for gestational diabetes, a very serious complication of pregnancy. Children born from diabetic pregnancies are much more likely to be obese and to suffer from diabetes as well. It was clear to me that young women are going to need help during pregnancy to mitigate the impact of their obesity on their children. When I joined Kennesaw State University in 2012, I began developing a research program focused on obesity and diabetes in pregnancy. I soon met Dr. Janine Amison, an expert on women's health and obstetric care in the Wellstar School of Nursing. Janine worked with me to launch a line of research using novel measures of obesity during early pregnancy to identify women who are at risk for diabetes later in pregnancy. Most of the time, gestational diabetes appears at around 24 to 28 weeks, or a full six months into pregnancy. By the time a woman finds out that she has diabetes, it is often too late to make much of a difference with a diet and exercise program. We are testing the use of a simple ultrasound measure of abdominal fat to predict risk for gestational diabetes. The findings from this research will enable clinicians to identify high-risk patients at only 12 weeks of pregnancy. Our pilot studies on these measures have shown very promising results. Once these are established, our future studies will test lifestyle interventions using diet and exercise throughout the pregnancy to help patients who have been identified as high risk. We conduct our research within the exercise science laboratories in the Wellstar College of Health and Human Services. The physiology laboratory contains multiple testing rooms and a large array of state-of-the-art equipment that can be used to collect almost any measurement we could possibly need pertaining to body composition, cardiorespiratory fitness, and skeletal muscle. The biomarkers laboratory is used to process biological samples and quantify specific proteins or other tissue markers. This research provides a robust learning experience for KSU students. We typically have five to eight students working to assist us at every level, developing protocols and writing grants, recruiting and testing subjects, and presenting our findings at scientific conferences. The overall goal of this program is to identify high-risk women much earlier in pregnancy and to improve the diet and exercise programs that they are prescribed. We believe that these steps are needed to improve care for women struggling with obesity and to mitigate the effects of obesity during pregnancy on the child. Mm -hmm.